This is traction splaying. First thing we're going to do is make sure that we have all of our equipment. We do have a hair traction splint here. We've got four sets of straps on it. We do have our ankle hitch here. And then we also have, if needed, we have padding material. We've already got the patient on the backboard here. Uh, we'll make sure we have PPE on if necessary. First thing we're going to do is have manual stabilization pulled and traction pulled on the leg. And that way we can go ahead and release pressure from that uh, fractured femur there. Once we do have traction pulled, we'll go ahead and assess PMS and make sure that we do have pulses intact, have them wiggle their toes and whatever else to assess that. We'll go ahead and set our splint up here. We're going to size it appropriately, uh, marking it here from where it'll rest right there in the hip and then extending outward so that the uh, ankle, or I'm sorry, the heel of the foot is at least six inches away from the end of the uh, end of the traction split. I'm sorry. It's weird having to be here doing it. And then you'll tighten that up. Since he's already pulled traction, he's got the injured extremity elevated. We're going to go ahead and slide this underneath and position it. You're going to slide it as far up into the hip as you can, and then we'll scoot it over here in front of him. And we can actually pull that back just a bit. Sorry, that boy went right there. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is attach this strap up here, the ischial strap. That'll be our first one to attach and go ahead and secure that in place. We want to make sure that it is very tight and that we are able to get a good hold on that to keep that traction splint from moving at all. Once that's in place, we'll go ahead and put our ankle hitch on. We want to make sure that we don't release traction during that process and that we're able to maintain it. And then you can go ahead and pull with that. And he's maintained uh, traction there with that. We'll go ahead and loosen this up. And attach it in there. And then he can go ahead and apply mechanical traction there. And you'll just do it till the patient uh, appears relieved of the pain. And then we can start putting our all of our straps on there. Now you don't want to actually put anything over the side of the injury if possible. Once everything's in place, you're going to go ahead and reassess PMS, make sure that it's still present, and then we'll go ahead and secure the patient to the backboard using straps and then again try not to actually put anything over the side of directly over the side of the injury. And we want to make sure that we have secured that splint to the backboard as well so that it's not moving around at all. And after any time that you do move the patient around at all, make sure that you are reassessing PMS and that's still intact.